Have you ever started a new job and wondered, what is it going to be like in this new office? What is it going to be like in this new go group? What is it going to be like in this, this new neighborhood that I'm living in? What is it going to be like in this condo that I'm living in? We have to understand that the spiritual character of the people in a place is what is going to determine the environment. Now listen to what James says, and James is a very practical pastor. He says in James 3.16, For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and every kind of evil. Where you find jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder. You'll always find chaos. And you'll always find every kind of evil where there's jealousy and selfish ambition, where, where people are trying to promote themselves, where people have selfish hearts. You're always going to find disorder and every kind of evil. Now, this is why it's very important for those of you in leadership in whatever company it is. If you have people on your team that live in jealousy, that, that live with selfish ambition, they're always putting somebody else down, they're always promoting themselves, pushing themselves. When you, when you get people like that in your team, in your go group, in the church, when those kind of people come around before long, you've got disorder. You've got chaos going on. And you've got every kind of evil happening, all kinds of stealing and corruption. It happened because of the type of people that were in the environment. If you want peace, you need to get rid of the people around you that have hearts full of jealousy. Either they repent and change, or you remove them from your go group. You remove them from your team at the office. Either they repent and change of the selfish ambition, where it's just all about me, and this is what I'm going to do, this is what God spoke to me. Either you get rid of that stuff and repent, or please go, go, be, go be that way with somebody else. We don't need you around. Because it changes the experience of everybody else. When people come into the environment where all of this is happening and you tolerate it, you find disorder and every kind of evil.